Hello, dear students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. It's another great learning day. This is Sir Dano Emisuga. Join me as we discover and experience fun and challenging adventures in learning grade 9 English. To start, I would like to request you to pause for a while for our prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to begin this new day. As we begin our class, we ask you to give us the knowledge and wisdom that we need to help us in understanding our lesson today. Please bless the students and help them as they grow. I teach them faithfully the things they need to know so they may face the future knowing they are prepared. We pray that you will guide us in all ways so that we will seek your will in everything that we do. We bring back all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, for today's lesson, here are our objectives. During and at the end of the lesson, you shall be able to A. Define tone, mood, and purpose B. Determine tone, mood, and purpose of the line or selection and C. Express the tone and mood of the selection through a sketch So, what are you waiting for? Grab your pen and paper and self-learning modules Let's begin this exciting journey in learning English. Are you ready? Let's go! We have an exciting way of reviewing our previous lesson about the topic Text to World Connection using the Kahoot application. So grab your cell phones and computers, search for kahoot.com on your web browsers, enter your name to join the game. Mechanics of the game, tap the true button if the text shows text to the world connection and tap the false button if it does not. Ready, set, Kahoot! Question number one. This defined as relating something in the text to a current event. Is it true or false? You have 20 seconds to answer the question. Yes, the correct answer is true. Did you get the correct answer? Congratulations! Let's check the scoreboard. So we have Mal in the first place with 668 points. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number two. It is done by relating events in the text and the things in your imagination. Is it true or false? Yes, it's false. Did you get the correct answer? That's amazing. Wow, we have Jan in the first place with 1,123 points. Question number three. It brings the relevance, complexity, and motivation of the real world to learning. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Checking out the scoreboard, still we have Jan in the first place with 1,854 points. Question number 4. Making real-world connections promotes student failure through the authenticity of the learning. Is it true or false? Is it 
It's false. Did you get the correct answer? Fantastic. Still, we have Chan in the first place with 2,665 points. Next. We're down to our last question. Learning is based on information derived from fictional sources. Is it true or false? It's false. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent. Oh, in the third place, we have Shima. In the second place, we have Mal. And in the first place, who got 5 out of 5? Congratulations to John! You'll be watching a video clip excerpt from the movie Beauty and the Bestie, starring Vice Kenda and Coco Martin. Take note of the different feelings and emotions you have felt while watching the video clip. Roll VTR. What were the different emotions you had felt while watching the video clip? I know it was a roller coaster ride of emotions. At some point, you're laughing to the funny jokes and punchlines thrown by the characters to each other. And at some point also, you were annoyed and has been carried away by the argument of the two characters. What do you think were the director's attitude in the lines used by the characters in the movie? What do you think were the viewers feeling in the lines used by the characters in the movie? Have you analyzed the purpose of the lines in the movie? Let's answer these questions later on. Your first activity is to identify author's attitude in the following lines. Use the underlined word or words as your guide. Number one, you are a liar. Your betrayal will never be forgiven by my furious heart. Larry A. Angry, B. Cautious, C. Cheerful, or Larry D. Romantic. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Slur A. Angry. Did you get the correct answer? Congratulations! Number 2. In this world filled with ambiguity, you are the sunshine that enlightens my path. I really do love you. Letter A, humorous. B, ironic. C, romantic. Or letter D, satirical. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Larry C. Romantic. Did you get the correct answer? Well, that's amazing! Your next activity is to identify reader's feeling in the following lines. Use the underlined word or words as your guide. Number 3. Father. We're going to cinema. We will watch a wonderful movie. Son. Yay! Hey! My favorite movie sequel is now on showing. Larry A. Annoyed. B. Excited. C. Irritated or Larry D. Lonely Time's up! And the correct answer is... Larry B. Excited Did you get the correct answer? Fantastic! Number 4 I saw him He's holding a knife. He is trying to kill me. Larry A. Frightened. B. Sentimental. C. Sorrowful. Or Larry D. Sympathetic.
Time's up! And the correct answer is letter A, Frighten. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! For our last activity, you need to analyze the purpose of the following lines. Number 5. Disneyland is a wonderful place not only for kids but for all ages. It is a place where everyone can enjoy and celebrate. Letter A to amuse, B to inform, C to analyze, or letter D to frighten. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Letter A to amuse. Did you get the correct answer? Outstanding! Number 6. I don't believe in you. You said that we only live once. Now we live every day and only die once. A to argue. B to amuse. C to express. Or letter D to entertain. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Letter A to argue. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! How well did you fare in our activity? Did you get a perfect score? Congratulations! Thank you for participating! Our topic is about tone, mood, and purpose of the author. Tone tells us how the author thinks about his or her subject. It is the author's attitude toward the story and the reader. The tone influences the story's mood or atmosphere. Tone is not stated directly. You must read between the lines to see what the author's attitude is on the subject. Tone can be revealed through dialogue between characters, descriptions, author's diction, for the choice, the themes that emerge. Tone can be positive, negative, or neutral. Hint, when trying to find the tone of a passage, read the passage and decide if it is being told in a positive, negative, or neutral way first, then look at your answer choices and decide. Ask these questions, is the author happy? Is the author angry? Some adjectives to describe tone Formal, informal, serious, humorous, amused, clear, angry, playful, neutral, satirical, gloomy, witty, conciliatory, sad, resigned, cheerful, ironic, suspicious. Mood is how the writer's words make us feel. It is usually associated with the setting. The emotions that you, the reader, feel. So to find mood, you need to look at what emotions you're going through as you read the text. Ask this, how does the story make me feel? Some adjectives to describe mood. Fictional, imaginary, fanciful, idealistic, romantic, realistic, optimistic, pessimistic, gloomy, mournful, sorrowful. Purpose is the author's reason in writing the text. An author writes to share a main idea about a topic. An author's main idea is directly related to the author's purpose. One of the three following purposes will drive a main idea. To inform, to entertain, and to persuade. To inform is to give information about a subject. Authors with this purpose wish to provide facts that will explain or teach something to readers. Example, pain is a normal part of a physical process that lets us know something is wrong. To entertain is to amuse and delight. 
to appeal to the reader's senses and imagination. Authors with this purpose set out to captivate or interest the audience. Example, Yes, I have gained weight. I weigh only 8 pounds when I was born. To persuade is to convince the reader to agree with the author's point of view on a subject. Authors with this purpose may give facts, but their main goal is to argue or prove to readers. Example, the death penalty is deeply flawed and should be abolished. The chart shows examples of specific purposes to inform, to analyze, to clarify, to discuss, to establish, to explain, to entertain, to amuse, to delight, to frighten, to persuade, to argue against, to argue for, to convince, to criticize, to inspire, motivate a change. Directions. Using the diagram below, express how you understand the following. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Your grade will be based on this rubric. You have 10 minutes to answer this activity. Directions. Read the following poems and answer the questions that follow in each poem. Write the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Poem number one. Question number one. What is the tone of the poem? Letter A. Serious. B. Humorous. C. Plain and factual. Or letter D. Critical or finds fault. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. Time's up. And the correct answer is letter A, serious. Did you get the correct answer? Congratulations! Question number two. What is the mood of the poem? Letter A, sarcastic. B, distressed. C, threatening. Or letter D, very serious. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Letter B, Distress. Did you get the correct answer? Fantastic! Question number 3. What is the writer's main purpose in the poem? Letter A, Entertain a group of people. Letter B, Express disgust or disbelief. Letter C, Flatter the reader. Or letter D, Convey an intense feeling of loneliness. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Letter D. Convey an intense feeling of loneliness. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! Let's proceed to poem number 2.
Question number four. What does the author think about love? Letter A, gloomy. B, optimistic. C, satirical. Or letter D, suspicious. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Larry B. Optimistic. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Question number 5. What feeling does the author want to influence the reader? Larry A. Cheerful. B. Mournful. C. Romantic. Or Larry D. Sorrowful. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Larry C. Romancy. Did you get it right? Outstanding! Question number 6. What is the writer's main purpose in, in the poem? Letter A. To establish good relationship with the reader. B. To express an emotion. C. To argue with the reader. Or letter D to impress the reader. Time's up! And the correct answer is... Larry B. To express an emotion. Did you get the correct answer? Congratulations! Our assessment, we will be using the Kahoot application once again. So grab your cell phones and computers, search for kahoot.com on your web browsers. Enter your name to join the game. Mechanics of the game, identify the author's attitude, Reader's feeling and analyze the purpose of the following lines. Tap the corresponding color or shades of your answer. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. Ready, set, kahoot! Question number 1. Today is your birthday, so let us be happy and celebrate. Angry, cautious, cheerful, or romantic? Yes, the correct answer is cheerful. Did you get it right? Congratulations! Question number two. Get out! Your face is pissing me off. Annoyed, excited, relaxed, or sad? Yes, the correct answer is annoyed. Did you get the correct answer? Fantastic! Question number three. Today is the day. Today. I am officially Mrs. Reyes. Conciliatory, excited, satirical, or silly? Yes, the correct answer is excited. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Question number four. Thank you for that great humiliation. Humorous, ironic, romantic, or sarcastic? The correct answer is sarcastic. Did you get it right? Excellent! Question number five. 
Question number five. Sorrow has filled my heart. My lamenting soul is in misery. Gloomy, grieving, ironic, or sympathetic? Correct. It's grieving. Did you get the correct answer? Outstanding. Question number six. I believe they will have a happy ever after. Cheerful, fearful, lonely, or mellow? The correct answer is cheerful. Did you get the correct answer? That's amazing. Question number seven. In a cold and noiseless place, I take my rest. Cheerful, embarrassed, peaceful, or playful? The correct answer is peaceful. Did you get it right? Fantastic. Question number eight. You're wrong. Life is not a bed of roses. We should understand its complexities and uncertainties. To argue, to inform, to express, to persuade. The correct answer is to argue. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! Question number 9. You should follow the choice of the majority. Buy this product now and be on trend. To argue, to inform, to express, to persuade. The correct answer is to persuade. Did you get it right? Good job! Last question. I can be everybody's friend. You can trust me always. To amuse, to inform, to persuade, or to argue against. The correct answer is to persuade. Did you get the correct answer? Congratulations! Let's check the result. For the third place, we have Nancy. She got 9 out of 10. Second place, Shima. 9 out of 10. And in the first place, we have John. 10 out of 10. Congratulations! For your assignment, your activity is creative interpretation. Directions, interpret the poem through a drawing. Do it in a short band paper. You will be graded based on this rubric. That's all for today, my dear students. I hope you have learned a lot. This has been your English 9 teacher, Sir Dano Emisuga from Fatima National High School. See you again next time! Thank you for watching!